it's just so obvious uh, that you wonder why you know, touch uh, hasn't always been there. It's one of the great ways of doing interaction. Uh, Toshiba, with their portage has done all sorts of neat things that you'd expect uh, for a leading edge portable. They've taken the ability to have a, what we call sideshow alert, uh, put that on the, the side of the machine so you can see extra information even when the device is closed. They've created a docking station that actually uses high bandwidth wireless ultra wideband so you don't even have to plug in to get your video display. It just sends the DVI signal across that wireless connection. Uh, Sony with some great media center packaging, Medion taking this ultra mobile, the small screen concept, uh, making that uh, really a, a, a great uh, second PC that you can carry around and do reading and media type things. And so we're spanning a wider variety of design points. We're drawing on the strength that comes from lots and lots of uh, great hardware partners uh, that have stepped back uh, bet on Vista to be successful and done uh, neat things with it. And so they deliver on these experiences. Uh, they let uh, people work together uh, in new ways. Here, uh, the you know, partners are uh, going to keep surprising you, but the ones uh, that I showed specifically are actually timed for the Vista launch. And so right then, there's something very dramatic, uh, but uh, every month, people will be uh, building things, whether it's the large manufacturers, the system builders, uh, things that take the Vista phenomena and actually drive it forward in a new way. So let's take a look at uh, some of these new window, Windows Vista PCs. Speaking of great things that our partners have done together with us, I'd like to talk about a, a product that's new for us, entry into a new space, and we think a very important space, and it's a project we work very closely with HP on, uh, and that is uh, defining what we call a Windows Home Server. Uh, so let's take a look at, at the concept here.
night turned into morning I was lying in my bed Staring at the ceiling lines With this music in my head Outside soft rain was ending And the light filled up the sky Pulled back the curtains And the day came to our eyes What is a life? A line of new mornings Wishes and memories and dreams We take what we found The road to tomorrow Hoping for a fair weather probably recognize that format that HP's using to talk a lot about the neat uh, empowerment things they're doing. This Windows Home Server is for homes where you've got either multiple PCs or Xboxes, a case where you want to have your storage available at all times to the different uh, devices. Uh, this is a product that will come out in the second half of this year. Uh, HP will talk, uh, branded as the HP Media Smart Server. Uh, and it's the Windows Home Server software with uh, their enhancements that will run on top of that. What are the features? Um, automated backup, it goes and finds the PCs, uh, brings the information up and makes sure that it's uh, all stored here up on the server. Uh, we've got connectivity, uh, connectivity to, uh, of course, all the different PCs, but the Zune, Xbox, and remote connectivity. Uh, if you're uh, somewhere else, coming in and getting your files, having access to them in a very secure way. That's set up for you, no complexity in terms of how you have to get involved with that. Uh, finally, if you want to grow the capacity, you don't have to think about volumes or different devices or names or things like that. You literally just put the new storage in and it's got quite a bit of expandability and automatically the software will see that storage, move the data around uh, so that any drive problems that you run into uh, make sure that you're not uh, losing information and so you can get up to literally terabytes uh, on this device. Uh, we've got HP as the lead partner but also AMD, Intel and Back Tech, Quanta others are building hardware reference designs and since it's a software driven device uh, each of the partners will be able to do some unique things uh, running on, on uh, the, the server here. And so even more richness as you look at the, the variety that will be out there. Uh, so we think it's a, a category that can explode in importance. Uh, we think it takes a real emphasis on great simplicity. And so that's what we think we've got here entering into the category. Uh, of course, and a lot more we'll do as we get in and, and see the, the feedback uh, from the users there. Well, I'd say a, a very uh, big part of connected experiences is connected entertainment. And so to talk to you about uh, mobility, gaming, TV, movies, music, uh, is the person some people think has the most fun job at Microsoft, uh, and that's Robbie Bach, who's the president of the Entertainment and Devices Division. Uh, so let's welcome Robbie to come on out. Thanks, Robbie. Thanks very much. So Bill talked about connected experiences, and I want to talk today and expand on that and talk about connected entertainment. Now connected entertainment really has two parts to it. The first is about content, whether that's music, movies, TV, games. We want people to be able to get their content whenever and wherever they want on whatever device they want to put it on. The second part about connected entertainment is it's about community. In the entertainment world, people want to share their content. They want to share their ideas. They want to have community entertainment and experiences. 